Brad Garlinghouse is now in Paris, attending a little event more accurately described as a conference than a festival, therefore, we will be speaking with him. While Brad Garlinghouse is attending the conference, he is also attending the festival. What's happening in the area? Yes, we will investigate the possibility that KRP becomes an SD. I want you to see some intriguing facts that I discovered because of my rare drawing privileges. I'm not sure whether it seems more likely anymore, but don't forget about the IMF. I discussed with Brad Jinghouse about four to five years ago. All right, everyone, let's get started. Into it, 8,776 Bitcoin, it's currently being battered. For the first time this year, it has dropped 4% in the last 24 hours and over the last 30 days, closing at 3,490. For the first time this year, it is down 4.31%, and over the last 30 days, it has decreased by 11%. USDC and USDT are both precisely where you want them to be, and XRPs are starting to come in. It's now about 62 cents, with a mean lean of 6.1 cents. As you can see, it's doing remarkably well when compared to Bitcoin. We knew this time was near, Ethereum. How were we made aware? I regret sharing this information with you, but I indeed did. May June, that's the setup, that's the move, said the guy who told you this. With Bitcoin only 11 days away, what did they do to keep the market afloat? They wanted you to believe that this time would be different, but nothing has changed, even if you were all excited. This is identical to what we observed in 2017. This is the same as what we observed in 2020. They made you feel enthusiastic just before the price increased, and everyone was yelling, this is going to be different. When they completely stopped making money and stole all of your Bitcoin gains, the markets returned. The market slowed down, and you became conscious of your joy. You ended up back at the bottom of the steps after feeling like you were on top of the universe. You become rather angry and perhaps even depressed at the foot of the hill. Commenced, and what transpired next? The markets immediately began to rise again, as we had warned you for the previous, well, however many weeks, that a decline was imminent. Yesterday, I received a significant amount of abuse on Twitter, with people saying things like, Rip, you're wrong. You're not correct. Examine take a look at what happened. The markets where XRP is gaining momentum are poised for explosive growth. Listen, you know, today. It's okay with me if I'm not correct. I'm willing to own up to my errors. However, please refrain from assaulting me. Your story doesn't align with mine. Returning is the least you could have done. Send me a direct message, please, without using R. I apologize. You are aware of my feelings. You were right, to the best of my knowledge. It's not that difficult. We humans are all prone to making mistakes. I understand. Since 2017, I promise there have been numerous errors. We're only humans, so more errors will undoubtedly be made in the future. Only H62 cents, that's right. This is a slump, right? The overall market capitalization of cryptocurrency is $2 trillion, or $622 billion. Is our trajectory going to become less steep? Time will tell in the interim. All I know is that as of April 9th, we were between 30 and 60 days away from XRP's planned covert move. We have now shortened that time frame by 9 days, meaning that we are now between 21 and 51 days away, that's right, folks, before XRP makes its move. Now that I've reactivated the website, it primarily focuses on cryptocurrency news and doesn't provide a detailed analysis of XRP. The website is not actively publishing content, nor is it making a significant effort to do so. Now, all the news on YouTube is about cryptocurrency. The following is a list of all the crypto news we posted today. I've written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 articles today alone. This will raise the goal from 10 to 20 articles per day, covering everything. The cryptocurrency market will have its own category for news. We'll cover the newest and best in NFTS, and we'll even provide some technical analysis here. 
That's all. I'm not even making any money from free twat, but I intend to create a one-stop shop where you can obtain all the news you need to stay up to date on the newest developments in the cryptocurrency world. A supply shock is about to occur. Prepare. We're going to send this out, folks. Bitcoin surpasses 100,000 this can propel Bitcoin to between $150,000 and $200,000. There are currently just 1.7 million bitcoins available on exchanges, and the next supply shock has arrived. The topic we are discussing is something we've previously discussed. We have been discussing this topic on our channel for quite some time now. It's Eco 101 supply, I guess. Demand will also charge a price. Indeed, demand decreases with increased supply. What we're going to witness is that the price will increase. What are the other projects that NFT is involved in? They can breed, which is another reason why we are the top project on the XRP ledger. If you purchase into the lab to make your own NFT, if you're receiving a free potion, if you purchase five, you'll receive a free potion plus. It's a stylish, compact, minimalist NFT that you'll receive for free. What are you doing? Because that's one of them. Wake up, people. Whippy Ripple Partners' new cross-port payment solution integrates with over 30 wilds. Yesterday, I talked about this, and I want to talk about it again. Tangelo's on-demand usage is the reason this is so significant. Indeed, Tangelo's liquidity is noteworthy, as they maintain connections throughout the UAE and extend their reach into China and Japan. This is very exciting news. Is noteworthy. Tangero is 40% owned by Ripple. Regardless of any freeze, XRP is subject to liquidity demand. You must use the digital asset effectively, people. What will happen if the value of these bitcoins falls below 69k while the cryptocurrency market is experiencing a surge of over 175 million in liquidations? Indeed, investors are eagerly anticipating this moment. Change I wish I had sold 49 million bitcoins, or 12 million. I'll take 12 million bitcoins. Right now, I'll sell 173 bitcoins, pocket 12 million dollars, and head off on my own. I don't mind at all, people, but who is doing it? Grayscale we've said a lot about this. On this channel, Grayscale is liquidating its bitcoin holdings, including the last one I own. Grayscale determines how much to dump and where the market moves. See the extent to which they have impacted the cost. We are interested in XRP because it devalues Bitcoin and causes a 5% market decline. Separating XRP from Bitcoin seems logical, doesn't it? Bitcoin simply has a small HIC cup and continues when it drops by 5%. And it's pleasant little route, but the Grayscale will determine the market's locations. The moving X monkey is what distinguishes XRP from all other L tokens on the XRP ledger. A single well is not a token. 2. Since it's public, audits are not necessary. 3. It is impartial and not under anyone's control. 4. It can't be censored. It provides liquidity and helps to bridge all assets. There are 6 XRPs required by the network. Reserves and Expenses 7 XRP is the only token on love that carries XRP's bridge currency. If you haven't been able to see it yet, that's because we are currently preparing for its launch. I sincerely hope we can have a conversation in which I can just inform you that, since they have been developing these pipelines and roadmaps for a while, you are either on board or not. In short, what are Special Drawing Rights, or SDRs? All right, easy. Before the IMF could hold cryptocurrencies, the International Monetary Fund would need to designate and maintain foreign exchange reserve assets. A nation would need to both use and hold that money. We're witnessing XRP solidify itself as an asset. Palo uses it, and we know that Rosslock discussed it in 2018. Frame what does that mean, then? This implies that the IMF may retain XRP. Chad shared this regarding Ripple, and the IMF established what is known as the World's Money, or Digital Special Drawing Rights, SDRs, a year ago. Now, this is a video. 
We are collaborating with roughly 50 financial institutions worldwide to enable this real-time cross-border payment, which will cut the settlement time from roughly 5 days to 5 seconds and cut the cost of cross-border payments by roughly 60%. The question is, will fintech pose a risk to financial stability? If we continue to take a firm, principle-based approach to regulation, I don't think it will. Therefore, we set today's regulations at a high level, applying specific thematic principles to each unique technology or product. For example, we will apply principles related to cybersecurity, operational resilience, or market stability, which are all important components of a financial system. We also ensure that the controls and risk mitigation measures implemented are specific to the risks involved and that each product has its own gaps. If we continue to use a standard method, we will be able to tailor the regulations and hazards to each unique product. Application of a robust, principle-based strategy is all of this happening for a reason? Brad is right here. We won't get into it. We'll check in later, but according to Smoke Dog, XRP has an Central banks deposits, the world's major currencies, and special Jing rights to governments over a public ledger support it. We could classify XRP as an ESDR. XRP is capable of connecting to any currency worldwide. 